Ballin' with podcast. Thanks, guys, for joining us back in with another episode today. We are doing our sports bets for the NFL for Week Six. Again, time up the money man, no cap. Now, guys, we're just gonna do a quick recap of last week. Um, I did post the video out for that, guys. I do have my picks by my phone. Um, just taking a look at the scores from last week real fast before I hop right into the bets. This week, guys, I do have teasers, and I just have the spreads, as you can see from week six. There, All the spreads are going to be posted up. Guys, we only lost four games last week out of all 16. Um, I was wrong on Washington and Saints. I'm a Washington fan. I had to go for that, man. I had to. Broncos, um, I did select Broncos to win that game versus Steelers. And Eagles came up with the upset as well for the Panthers, and the Raiders lost to Chicago. Everything else was uh, a okay, guys. So definitely keep betting with me, man. We're gonna win you guys some money, man. It's majority over the minority on my picks all the time, guys. Um, this is actually the wrong website. Uh, we're gonna go right back to that. That's my betting platform because I live in Maryland, man. I can't even uh, use one of these Spandles, uh, DraftKings, all these sport betting apps that's coming out. Maryland's not even legal, and I know a lot of other states are not legal as well. So that's it's just leaving the market open for everybody, guys. It's, um, it's on the way. Um, so, guys, just bear with your state and everything. Um, I'm pretty sure sports betting will be legal probably within the next 10 years across the whole entire country. So, and then we'll see how much money is really made into this stuff. Um, so, guys, we're just going to keep uh, on with the uh, winning streaks and stuff and just keep uh, making sure our record is above the losing record. All right, guys? Um Let's see, let's see. Let's start off with the uh, Thursday night game that is tomorrow. Um, we got Bucks and Eagles. Eagles did just upset the Panthers. Um, I'm not going to really say too much on that. Eagles looking pretty, not too shabby in the NFC East, but I do got Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. Um, I don't know if the Bucks are will win by that spread. Bucks, you know, will probably be everyone's choice fan favorite as sports best come along. Um, but like I said, the Panthers uh, was probably almost the same spread last week, and this is what happened. Eagles won that game, so I think it's going to be closer than seven points. Eagles it's going to be a closer game than people think, but uh, Buccaneers will win that game. Uh, let's hop down to the London game because it's 9:30 a.m. We have Miami versus Jaguars. I swear, Jaguars just played last week in Miami, or it was the Jets and Falcons. See, I, I'm, I'm, they always had the worst team playing in, in London, bro. I don't know why. I don't know why. But, again, we're going to start with this, Dolphins and Jaguars. I uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Jaguars get their first win here. Um, I don't even think. I'm pretty sure they might already got a win. <clears throat> but I will go Dolphins. Maybe not by the point spread. I will money line Miami Dolphins on this game right here. Um, we can hop back to Seattle and Steelers. Um, Pittsburgh. I don't know why they do the Sunday night. That time frame is weird right there. But 820, this is the Sunday night game, guys. Um, Steelers minus four and a half. No go. I got Steelers. I have Seahawks winning this game plus four. I would do that plus all the way for Seahawks. Um, if you want to do money line to get your uh, odds back up higher, possibly as well. Good possible bet right there. Start with the one o'clock games. You got Cincy and uh, Detroit. I do think it's going to be another close game. A lot of people probably will pick Cincinnati Bengals. And I am one of those people. I have the orange one right now to rep them. But um, don't sleep on, on the Lions. I had them last week almost went in, and they did. And they're getting closer every week. Um, Bengals are always in a close game. I feel like this game might go into overtime for some reason. It's always an overtime game every week, seems like, man. But <clears throat> I'll go Bengals. Money line, I don't know about a spread. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Here we go. Uh, Washington versus Kansas City. I'm not going to lie to you, man. I'm a Washington fan. Kansas City just lost again. They're, we have the same record. Both of these teams have the same record. And um, who's going to, from here, who's going to be the better team? Uh, obviously, it's going to be the Chiefs. Um, don't sleep on Washington, but Patrick Mahomes might have his best game this year unless he doesn't throw any interceptions because Washington's defense is probably like ranked 30th, probably pass game and run game off a of bind. But I'm telling you, the past couple quarterbacks that played Washington has been having career Days, not even career days. Probably the best game of the season that they will probably have, aka Josh Allen. James Winston just went off. Um, we always have an air attack versus Daniel Jones had a good game against us, bro. So um, that's always a, a if with us. So we're not going to be putting points up. I do have Chiefs winning, maybe by seven. I'm pretty sure they could win by seven, but I'll get that bet in earlier. I think the 
um, minus might go up to 10 or something just because the lines and stuff. But we'll see. Chiefs' record is uh, holding them back a little bit on that, so they're just giving us a little bit of leeway. I got Chiefs winning the game, though. Um, don't be surprised. You know how these leagues work. Um, Minnesota versus Carolina. It's going to be another tight game, man. I don't know if Carolina's going to lose three in a row, which is possible. I don't uh, think they can't, but – and uh, Kirk Cousins has been uh, putting on a good display as well. He's still a little iffy to me. He's not that go-getter, get-the-job-done type of quarterback to me. Um, but I think he will get this job done this uh, week versus the Panthers. I will go Minnesota. Um, but I think Panthers are going to win. They have a better defense. I'm going to actually take Carolina. I don't think Minnesota will win. I do think so, but – this game is two up in the air. That's why it's minus one. Um, I'm going to go Carolina. Uh, we're going to keep it on that one. Carolina Panthers. Let's go Houston and Indianapolis. Man, I feel bad for Colts. They should hop back and get that win versus the Texans uh, pretty easily. Um, that was a nail-biter versus the Ravens. Shout out Lamar. MVP status right now. Uh, let's go LA Rams versus the Giants. Rams all the way. I don't see... Uh, Daniel Jones, I don't even know if he's coming back. I know he got injured as well and card off the field with the concussion protocol. We'll see. I got Stafford and I got Mahomes and I got Carson Wentz doing some things to those boys. Um, Chargers and Ravens, it's another good game, man. Ravens is minus three here. Um, I would say Chargers, bro. Chargers plus three. Um, you, can do, you can go with their odds for real. Ravens been winning close to their teeth as well, so it's going to be a good game. But I think the Chargers' attack is going to be more efficient than the Ravens' attack. And I think Chargers' defense will have a little bit of something to answer. But it's going to be a close game. As long as uh, Chargers do be uh, always handicapping themselves and turnovers and some some stuff here and there, they uh, can uh, minimize on the turnovers and penalties, then they'll have a better chance. But I, I, I am a Ravens fan as well. But the Chargers are just coming hot right now. Both of these teams are hot. This is going to probably be the game of the week, 1 o'clock. I'm watching that game. Um, we have Green Bay Packers versus Chicago Bears. Um, I will go Green Bay. Pretty easy pick. I don't think Justin Fields will beat Aaron Rodgers. Um, then we have the Browns and Cards. Another good game. Browns is favored again. They was favored last week versus Chargers. I have Cards winning. They're undefeated. Um, people will probably The Browns will probably win, honestly, just the way how the league is. But I do think Cards will continue to go undefeated. Browns might lose two. Uh, I think I don't know if they lost the week before the Chargers, but that would be three game losing streak. Don't want that to happen now, huh? Uh, Raiders and Broncos. Uh, Raiders are definitely going to fall apart. They had a good hot start. I'm sad to say that was their season. Honestly, now it's going to be how they can uh, hold off with all the John Gruden news and everything else. I have the Broncos right here winning that game. Dallas Cowboys, Cowboys easily minus four. Um, Cowboys looking like one of the um, super teams that really to, uh, have a chance for to go to the Super Bowl. I'm not going to lie. Um, they're just pretty good. Dak is that guy. And then the, um, yeah, the Sunday night was right there. The Steelers and Seahawks is going to be the game for Sunday night. And then the Monday night down here is Buffalo versus the Titans. We will go. I'm going to go Buffalo. Buffalo has been smoking hot. Uh, Josh Allen probably... Him and Lamar Jackson, probably the two candidates for MVP. I could put that and Justin Herbert in there, but these two guys are really balling crazy. It's another AFC matchup to watch for. Bills, Titans, Chargers, Ravens, Chiefs, and Browns are all AFC teams to watch out for, bro. Um, they will all probably be in the playoffs, but I do have Bills winning this game. It looks like a, a couple parlays I might really want to hit, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. This Chiefs game looking outstanding. I know they're going to beat us. I'm a Washington fan, and I know throughout the years, we're going to lose this game. The Rams and Giants. The Rams should win that game easily. I don't I don't see the Giants winning this game unless the Rams take up and do something crazy. This game I wouldn't even touch. Chargers and Ravens is too good. Too, this is a game you just want to watch and soak up the good football, honestly. Um, I will bet the Cowboys on a parlay with the Chiefs, with the Rams, and with the fucking Bills. I'm not going to lie, guys. Those are going to be some good games right there to really easily pick and decipher from who. But I honestly feel like it might be an upset in there somewhere. I just don't know which one. But I do think these odds will be the highest. And the odds are going to be the lowest or the highest for you to not get your, you know, the money back that you're going to want. So it's about, uh, let's say if you pick all the underdogs, your odds will be higher versus the lower. And then blah, blah, blah. But um, let's just hop over right here real quick, guys. We're almost 10 minutes in. Uh, just talk about the quick teasers. I did a four-game teaser. 
Um, the odds are different from every time I pick. Let's say if I did a six game teaser, the odd, the teaser spread wouldn't be as grateful. Um, so let's just take a look real quick, guys. Um, I know we did say the Eagles and Bucks. They really minus seven. You got the Eagles plus twenty. That's um a pretty good um cushion right there as well. Plus plus six as well. I I will put the Bucks, Chiefs, Rams. Cowboys and maybe Bills on the ticket. Honestly, put some bread on that. You probably might win something this week. You know, and uh, I'm don't quote me all the time, guys. I don't want to lose y'all money, but um, always, there's always gonna be upsets somewhere. It's always, but that plus twenty is looking crazy. I think Eagles gonna be a closer game than what you think, and they might can even win the game. But I don't think they will lose by seven. I don't think they will win the game by seven to the Bucks. Um, and it's a tight spread. I do think Jaguars can be within seventeen to the Dolphins. Um, I just like teasers. Uh, it would just to win a, uh, you know, the odds just go higher through the roof. So you gotta put more money on it to win. But these odds are look more, look more gracious than anything. And I do think the uh, coach should win that game. Uh, plus three, who knows? And I think it should go over thirty freaking points. Um, Green Bay and Chicago should go over thirty as well. Um, these odds right here for Green Bay is looking nice. Plus eight, they're gonna win the game. So you're giving them a touchdown to lose plus. That's pretty pretty sweet right there. Chiefs as well. You got them a plus six. Washington could lose by 20, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. You could be Mahomes going off. That's what I'm saying. So then I don't think we're going to win that game at all. So you might do that to be a gracious bet or to like just be buffered for 20, the three touchdown fucking buffer on your ticket. But long hold and behold, guys, the uh, teaser best always lose by 1.2. And... That's how I realized the leagues be freaking rigged because out of this teaser bet that you on my ticket, how did it, how does it lose by one point every single time? And it happens all the time to me. So that's how I know, guys. When I before I do my best as well, I always look at teaser lines and spreads so I can see. All right, this is what the max number probably would be for the highest for that bet. Like if they were to throw the game, um, let's say they were, let's just say the Chiefs and uh, football game, everyone put their money on. Let's say uh, Washington on this plus 20. Um, and let's say uh, everyone got the Chiefs to win the game. Um, and then a few people got the Washington to uh, on this plus thing. Everyone's going to probably bet the Chiefs. Let's say more people uh, were really, let's say more than half people actually bet Washington to probably hit that spread or this spread or the plus seven that they actually do have on the game. Not a lot of people are believing in the Chiefs. Chiefs will probably win this game by 21. Because not a lot of people are betting on them straight. Now a lot of people are betting on them by the spread. A lot of people will be betting on the, the other team to like try to at least hold their own, but that's not the case all the time. And that's why I just want to let you guys know. Just hop down here again. Uh, these are two gracious spreads. Um, 16 for the Chargers, I think, will be doable. Chargers uh, shouldn't be getting blown out like that. They haven't been all year. So um, I think Lions plus 16 as well. They haven't been losing that much either. They're going to have a, a dogfight in them. Uh, I got Rams plus three and a half. I don't think Rams would beat the Giants by that bad, but um, and I don't think Giants would beat the Rams. If they were to beat them, it would be by three points. So you still have a half a point there to hit that teaser bet. Uh, I would say Cardinals plus sixteen unless Baker goes off, but I don't think Kyle is going like that. He's going to be putting points up back and forth. It's going to be a good game. I would say Broncos plus nine as well. Um, I think the Broncos will win this game by a close margin, and I don't think they will lose by that much, so I'll give you that. Cowboys plus 9.5. All these teaser spreads, bro, are definitely going crazy. That's going into next week, but um, this is just a look at all the teasers, guys. So we got teaser picks, the spreads as well, the time of the games, my picks, guys. Always come back and tune in again next week. Like, comment, subscribe. We got more plays, picks, teasers, all that good stuff, guys. DM me your tickets, your plays. Uh, we're going to probably do some reactions as well, guys. We're going to be doing some reactions to bad bets. I thought that was pretty funny. Sounds like uh, Rob Derrick and Ridiculousness or doing whatever. No MTV little special. But Harry wasn't doing on YouTube with the reactions and whatnot. But, man, I've been seeing some dumb-ass bets, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think you, this would be funny. I'm going to put it on TikTok and um, just doing some reactions to what the fuck. Like, I'm going to be, like, shocking the fool a little bit, man. We just got to get hyped. We're going to get crazy. And... Um, I wish these guys can get their money back off these bad bets, but um, that will do it for this episode, guys. See you next time, next week, and we're going to recover those bets. And hope you guys win all that motherfucking money.